ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, I even stuttered on my intro. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go with it. Um, <laughs> welcome to the Habs. <laughs> welcome to the Habs tonight show, everybody. The pregame show specifically. Uh, jumping on here quick with Anik because I'm in between jobs today, so I'm literally going into work shortly. So my brain is just scrambled. But uh, we love you guys so much, and we need a Habs win so desperately that we wanted yeah. to make this happen. So here we are. We're going with the flow just like the Habs are. You know, if you want to stumble and fall, just get back up. <laughs> That's right. Just, <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you guys. <laughs> it is what it is. We're trying our best to be as positive as we can be. But I found one positive aspect from Tuesday night that I feel I should share with you, Drew. And it's that the whole team wore the right jersey. <laughs> is that right? Is that, that right? Is right? That is my po- my positive take away from the game what What do you mean by that exactly though the whole team they wore the right jersey they didn't put like an away jersey or anything the whole team uh, had the right jersey that's yeah. that's that's my positive takeaway so let's start tr- from there we tried to reverse the curse yeah well, i think we cursed it worse <laughs> we cursed it worse. <laughs> cursed it worse <laughs> it's our fault it's our fault guys all right um we'll take we're the gonna blame. make this we're going to make this one quicker today, guys. Uh, we're going to just jump right into the lineup because we got some big changes already. Uh, we saw in practice the other day. We might be we might be seeing this as the first line tonight, uh, whatever way you want to flip it. But uh, Christian Dvorak at center, Drew Renan Anderson, they've been the most consistent. They're sticking together. Yeah. Uh, Nick Suzuki going to have Mike Hoffman on his left, Brandon Gallagher on his right. And, and Nick, you and I were direct messaging about this. <laughs> yeah. And this is basically exactly what we what were we talking said. about and what we thought <laughs> That the Canadians should do. So thank you, Dom Descharm, for listening. Uh, Matthew Perot <laughs> going to center Tyler Toffoli and Cole Caulfield on his right. A different look. Um, we're going to be bringing Jake Evans back into the lineup in place of Paquette. So Evans centering Lecky and Armia. On defense, though, Nick, the, the, the deep pairings are, are flip-flop tonight, too. Kulak, Petrie, yeah. Sherrod, Wyman, Romy, and Savard. Like it's, like it's like Dom Descharm is literally watching our show. Maybe he is, if so. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Dom. Um, hi, Dom. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. You know, just breathe. Um, a lot of comments on socials today are referring to uh, Romy and Savard. A lot of people are skeptical about it. We've been talking about it from the start that this is what we would like to see. I know Shaner mentioned that at the start of the season, too. He'd like to see Romy with Savard, maybe for the leadership and guidance. I'm actually excited to see that pairing. I'm unmuting myself. Sorry, Sherman's barking upstairs. He's That's okay. Having Hi, separation Sherman. anxiety, my little pug. Um, yeah, and you know what? I think that it's worth trying this early in the season, putting yeah. Romeo with Savard. I, I think it could go very well, personally. I mean, a defensively responsible defenseman would be a great mentor. You know, Shea Weber's not here right now, of course. And yeah. maybe ever we all know where the status is with that, uh, given Bergie's update yesterday. But I still can't help it. Hold all hope. Anyway, uh, Savard potentially, you know, going to be a great mentor here for Romy and also more about show than tell. Like you want to show him what to do versus yeah. tell him. 100%. And uh, yeah, like you said, if we're taking a look back here at Drew Wayne, Dvorak and Anderson, that's been the most solid line all season so far in my all season, all four games. So no issues seeing it here. Excited to see Gallagher moving up uh Caulfield you've said it to me directly in a group chat as well seeing him maybe take a step back to his third line might not be a bad idea let's see what happens excited to see Evans back in the lineup um assuming that Allen gets the start as well he's been solid can't complain with Allen but let's touch on the elephant in the room which is Jesperi Kotkaniemi who is making a comeback to Montreal what do you think yes, yes. Well, I, I so much is made of things when they happen, like this when a player returns, but he's returning really quickly after yeah. having left from the offer sheet. But but for me, I want to start with, uh, I think probably what's going to be ingrained as our greatest memory of Yasperi Kakanyemi. And uh, I want to share it with the folks here really quickly. It's the moment that we're very familiar with from the playoffs. And I think that we're going to always think of this moment uh, when remembering him as being a part of the Montreal Canadiens. So let's just go ahead and show that. And there Thank it is. Thank you. 
thank you, <laughs> sweet baby eagle, for that goal. Oh, my goodness. Like, yeah. what a moment, right? Like, sending uh, us to yeah. game seven. We're never going to forget that, right? That was the no. first home game in Canada with fans allowed. And that was game six of the playoffs, sending us to game seven with the Leafs, where we eventually send the Leafs packing, go to get, go to round two. So, I mean, for KK, we want to say thank you for a yeah. moment like that. There, there's there been a lot of speculations that he's going to get booed tonight. Even himself, when he made an interview yesterday, he said, I don't know what to expect from the fans, but Montreal has been a great start to my career. I can't thank anybody. And like, he's so thankful for those three years and all the friendships and things he's learned. So you can't blame the kid for signing an offer sheet that would triple his salary and going towards the money. If you're going to constantly be benched and be the whipping boy in Montreal, Dale said it countless times. He's the whipping boy and it's going to turn out to be He's going to leave. So personally, I have no issues with KK signing an offer sheet. If that's what he wanted, that's what he wanted. Best of luck to him in the future. He's going to be a great player. Do I want him to have success against us? Obviously not. But, you know, best of luck to you. And tonight he's making his debut at the Bell Center on the first line. He was on the fourth line last game. And Carolina's still undefeated. So it's going to be excited to see if Dom Duchamp's changes will hopefully put a spark up the guy's butts and I don't know, just we, we need something. We need one greasy goal to, to get the boys going. That's, that's what, that's the issue right now. They're playing with the hands tight on the stick. They're nervous as all hell and the special units are not helping. And if you take a look tonight at the, at the hurricanes, their, their penalty kill is 100%. They have not let anybody score. It is time to break that. And how awesome would it be if that first goal would be on a power play? Just give the guy some confidence. That that's what we need right now. Go back to basics. Just it's it's hard to stay positive, guys. I know we're having trouble finding positive things to say to you, but you even know, us, because <laughs> we're pretty us. positive. <laughs> we're not. Uh, we, we get some comments saying that you guys are always positive. You can't always be positive. Well, you know, it's true. We can't always be positive. We do say some dumb comments to each other sometimes, but. At the end of the day, we're trying our best here too, right? Yeah, we just don't want to publicly shame the guys. I mean, these guys no. have literally come on our show and are going to continue to do so. And I try to treat them like, you know, as cheesy as it sounds. I'm not an NHL player, never have been, never will be. But I try to treat them like they're my teammates. Yeah. And um, I just, that's just a choice that I've made. And it, it sounds weird maybe, but like, I sense. just try to think the way they would in terms of how you deal with the worst adversity in the toughest market. Yeah. When it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. Welcome to Montreal, right? So, unfortunately, it's what you're stuck with. But uh, before we let you guys go, uh, yesterday on Crushing Cans, we had AJ Galante from Untold Crime and Penalties, the Netflix series. If you haven't watched it, please go give it a watch. It's absolutely amazing with the Danbury Trashers. So, AJ, the president and GM of the team, came on to Crushing Cans with Brandon and Derek. Absolutely incredible interview. Uh, they released so much funny stories and stuff. So if you have the chance, please go check it out. We've got Otto de la Ligue back on, back on Mondays. Uh, Dixie and I might be starting Flashback Fridays here and there whenever he's not at work, because that's basically where he lives. And uh, aside not from that... Not completely true, but... Not completely true, but I mean, <laughs> Lately, 75% yes. true. Lately, yes. Um, apart from that, can you think of anything else to, to plug while we're here? No, I just I'm one of the few that needs to catch up on the docu series as well. So I've been <laughs> quiet. I've been quiet in the chat. I want to wait to watch the interview because I need to watch the docu series. I've been so busy, crazy lately, and it's just like turning on Netflix has been a problem for us, and we've had it for months and haven't used the thing. So anyway, no, but that's going to happen uh, very, very soon. And that's that's it for us. Uh, go Habs, go! Really hoping to see a good performance from this team. I want to see the best best game of the season tonight. That's what I'm hoping for. One hundred percent and. Get your merch, habstonight.net. Just released some beautiful winter hats today. Uh, yes. Quality is amazing, super comfy. So, you know, check it out. Get your hat. It's getting cold outside. Cover your head. Can't wait to cover my big noodle with that thing. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the game tonight. And hopefully we'll see you back for another pregame with a W in the win column. Let's hope. Cheers, guys. Cheers.